Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I go through the process of making my cams, and then I'm going to show you how, in the next video, how to assemble everything, get everything set so that you have your cams and followers in place. So um, you, by now you should have this with your drive shaft. Um, uh, let's go ahead and make some followers. So we're going to do a new sketch on the surface. Let's turn it normal so we can see it. Let's go ahead and use. Let's go ahead and use these. To make our followers. So we're going to extrude this and this, and they're going to be both new. And I want a second position. And um, I'm going to do mine an inch um, just because that's how far I think mine should go for my automata. So we're going to go ahead and finish that. And so now we have two new. Um, we have two oops that let's see edit this. This should be new. Set to new. And these should be called followers. Okay, so we have our followers here. And every follower should have uh, a tip. So it should have a tip that actually is called the, the cam guide. And so I'm gonna go ahead and hide the right side so that I can see this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna create some work planes that are gonna be tangent to these followers. So let's go ahead and do that by selecting plane. And then uh, I'm going to change this. From, well, it's already on tangent, so you're going to have to go to tangent. So then you select the plane you want it to be parallel to. So you want it to be parallel to this, but you want it to be tangent to that. So it's going to put a work plane that's tangent to that point. And I'm going to call this my left follower plane. We can use these planes later. I'll explain that in a second. And then the next thing I'm going to do is do another plane. And I'm going to do it, that one. It's going to be tangent to this follower. And so I'm going to go ahead and do plane again. And it's tangent. It's going to be tangent to this, or parallel to that and tangent to this. So then I have a second work plane. If you wanted it on the other side of this uh, follower, you'd have to select another work plane on the right-hand side. So there we go. And we'll call this the right follower. Okay, so once I have these work planes, I'm going to hide one of them just so we can see. So we're going to hide this work plane. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my cam. And the cam that I'm going to do, I'm just going to do, uh, actually, no, I'm going to create the uh, the follower guide, or the cam guide. So let's go ahead and hide this part. So, oops. I'm going to hide that. I'm going to go ahead and hide this part. Hide part eight. And now I'm going to hide this plane because I'm going to create the, the sketch on my uh, left follower plane. So there, new sketch. And now I'm going to go ahead and use this geometry to uh, create the center circle or the, the uh, drive shaft circle or drive shaft hole for my, my cam. So once I have that used, I can go ahead and hide that part. So I'm going to hide part six, so you can see that that circle's there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sketch. Um, it's going to be a, a center point circle. It's going to be some distance above there. And I'm going to go ahead and finish that sketch. So there I have my cam, my concentric cam made. It's not quite the right size. We'll resize that in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and re rename this left cam. And I'm going to hide the sketch for now. So let's go ahead and hide this sketch. And now we're going to make our, our cam guide. So we're going to create another sketch. New sketch. Let's go ahead and move this sketch above. Actually, we'll do it in a second. So we're gonna call this our cam guide. And so the sketch that I'm gonna create, is gonna be kind of like a half circle. So it's gonna be a half circle. So because it's a half circle, I can go ahead and use a circle, but I'm gonna use the end geometry of this piece. Click on construction line and then use. And I have a nice construction line that I can create a center point circle on. And I want to make sure that uh, construction is off. A center point circle of some size, that's good enough for now. And then I'm going to come here 
and I'm going to draw a line across and then I'm going to trim the rest of the circle off. And so this is going to be my cam guide sketch and I'm going to extrude this quarter of an inch. So I'll go here, extrude, change the direction because I want it to go towards the towards the, the cam. And it's going to only be a quarter of an inch because that's the the width of my um, my follower. 0.25. And this needs to be new. And we're going to call this left cam guide. Okay. So we have a left cam guide. Um, what, what you can do is you can thicken it a little bit. You know, I like to thicken it a little bit so that we have a little bit of space. So I'm going to thicken it on both sides, maybe 0.125. It looks a little bit much, so I'm just going to divide that in half. Divide by two, 0.625. Give me a little bit of space on each side. All right, and then we have to do one more thing. So let's go ahead and hide this sketch. So we're going to hide this sketch, and we're going to have to add. We we need to add some stabilizers, so some something to stabilize the follower actually before we do that let's pull up a work plane just to make it easy on ourselves so we're going to get work plane and this time we're going to do a midpoint uh mid plane so we're going to do a work plane between here and here notice there's a little work plane there that way i can mirror my feature across so i'm going to create a sketch on this surface and then I'm going to go ahead and make a center, a, a corner rectangle from this corner. Escape. Leave this corner rectangle from this corner to this corner. Corner rectangle from this corner to this corner. Oops. One more time. Okay, so once I have that corner rectangle done, I'm gonna go ahead and extrude that sketch. And I'm just gonna go ahead and name this real quick, stabilizer. Okay, and then I'm gonna extrude that sketch. And I can do it an eighth of an inch. It doesn't have to be that much, 0.125. And I'm gonna leave this as new for now, okay. And then I'm going to do the, I'm going to mirror this. So I'm going to make it easy. So I'm going to mirror this part. And the mirror plane I'm going to select is going to be this plane. And it'll put that part on the other side. Now I'm doing add. And by adding, it's going to make it all one part. So now it's all one part. Okay. And so this new part is going to be called uh, cam guide. That's my cam guide, okay? So I have cam guide, this is my left follower. Make sure you rename things, left follower. Uh, this would be my right follower. My right follower, okay? So now let's go back to this cam. So we have this left cam sketch. So I'm gonna edit this sketch. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually move this sketch. Get out of here. Let's move this sketch underneath all these other sketches. So now I'm going to edit the sketch. And the reason why I did that is so that the other geometry show up. So I'm going to edit the sketch. And now I'm going to use this bottom point, the bottom point of this curve um, on my sketch. Okay. So I have the edit sketch. I'm going to go here. I'm going to use the bottom part of this curve to create a point on that sketch. So there's that point right there. And the reason why I do that is because I want to tangent this curve. Tangent this curve. Actually, I need this to be fixed distance. So let's go ahead and tangent this curve by first creating a construction line. Okay. 
And then now we can tangent this curve to this construction line. Okay. Now the hole is the wrong size. I have to resize the um, I have to resize my cam, and you can do that real easy by simply grabbing. Oh, Got to get out of tangent. You can grab and drag, and it will stay tangent. Okay. Um, you can resize it also by dimensioning it the correct size. So once I dimension this, um, right now I have a one inch cam. So let's go ahead and just type it as one, and I have a one inch cam. Okay. Now the sketch disappeared. We'll turn the sketch back on, and now we're going to extrude. So we're going to extrude this sketch. Uh, we're gonna. It's going to be new. We're going to change the direction, and it only needs to be a quarter of an inch, 0.25. Notice how it sits nice and neat right in between. So we'll finish the sketch, and then we'll turn back on our drive shaft, which we'll rename first. Drive shaft. Turn it back on so it's visible, and I'll have a cam and a drive shaft. Now, assuming that I have two of the same cams, I can I can make my life real real easy by simply um, creating a plane in the mirror in the middle and mirror mirroring. Uh, so if I take this off. I can mirror some features. So, um, so what I can do is do a work plane, a mid plane. So it's going to be mid plane between here. If they're the same distance. Do this one more time. Mid plane. So now I have a plane that's in the middle. And now what I can do is I can just simply mirror the part. So I can mirror this part across this plane. Okay, and then I have my second part. Right? Now if I had the same kind of cam, I could also do that with the cam, right? So this part 10, let's go ahead and rename this, rename this, right, right cam guide. And then we'll rename this left cam guide. Okay. And now I'm going to rename, I'm going to mirror this part across this plane. Okay. And let's go ahead and name that right cam. Okay. So there, there we go. All right. Now, another reason why I want to do this is because I also need to put, um, I also need to put some, some mates, some mate connectors on my um, drive shaft. And I'm doing that so that I can easily align my cams, okay? So let's go ahead and bring up our planes, our work planes again. So we have our, our this plane, okay? And we're gonna put a, a work plane, uh, a mate connector. So let's go ahead and hide this plane. And now let's put a mate connector on this, on this shaft, on this shaft. And then we'll put one on the um, the cam itself. So we're gonna go here and let's hide the cam. Hide. So we're hiding the cam, and we're gonna put a we're gonna use this shape. So let's go ahead and create a sketch. Actually, let's just do a make connector. Uh, let's use the sketch actually. So. We're going to sketch on the surface. Uh, we're going to use this shape. We're going to use this shape right here. We're going to go ahead and finish it. And then that's where I want my make connector to be. So I'm going to make connector to be right there. There's my make connector. Okay. So I have a make connector there. And I also want a mate connector on this one, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to hide this work plane. And then we're going to go back up here. We're going to do our left follower work plane. We're going to unhide it. We're going to create a sketch. New sketch. We're going to use 
this there and let's put our mate connector there's our mate connector okay so we have our two mate connectors and we're let's go ahead and name this one right mate connector right mate connector and left mate connector so we have these two mate connectors and now what we need to do is put mate connectors on our, our well we don't actually have to but we could put mate connectors on our cams but let's go ahead and get into assembly for the next video